Right, this is a lecture on Lagrangian mechanics and it's a method used to find the second derivative or the acceleration of different variables in a system. So first, given your equation R for a particle and this is uh, its position, we find the kinetic energy as T equals a half M times R dot squared. Now this is exactly the same as the kinetic energy equation you know which is t equals a half m v squared because v does equal r dot which is velocity then we find the Lagrangian equations as follows we have d over dt of dt which is our kinetic over dqi dot now these qi's here here and here they just represent the different variables in our equation R, sorry, in our equation T. So if we had x and x dot in here, then we'd have x dot x, and that would be an x. And we treat when we're differentiating, we treat them as they are separate, um, separate variables. So they're not even related. The x dots and x is are not related in any way. So we treat them like that. And our qi equals the dr over dqi, where the qi is, I just told you, dotted with f, which is the external forces. This will usually be something like gravity. So f will usually be like minus g times the k. Right, and now we've got an example. A particle has position r, given by r equals r cosine theta i, plus r sine theta j plus z k and we're asked to find the kinetic energy now if you remember the equation it's t equals a half m r dot squared so we need to work out r dot so if we do start here differentiate with respect to t we'll get r dot times cosine theta this is the product rule uh, plus uh, actually minus r sine theta theta dot yeah, because we're differentiating, so we take this thing in here and move it out with an r dot, with a sorry, a theta dot, and we do the same here. So r dot sine theta plus r times theta dot cosine theta, and this one's a pretty easy one. It just goes to z dot. <coughs> so my voice is a bit funny today. Right now we just substitute this into here, which yes is very long. But after we've multi we have to square all this first. We've got this one times itself, which of course does get very big. But I'll read it out to you if you can't see it, which you probably can't. T equals a half m. Then it's a bracket. This is a big bracket. R dot squared cosine squared theta plus r squared theta dot squared sine squared theta minus two r dot r theta dot cosine theta sine theta plus r dot squared sine squared theta plus r squared theta dot squared cosine squared theta plus 2 r dot r theta dot sine theta cosine theta plus z dot squared and like I said we're just squaring all this so we'll have this bracket times itself plus this bracket times itself plus this times itself which is of course just a z dot on the, on the end and then if we look at this these bigger things they cancel out because we've got a minus there and a plus there. And if we take out r dot squared here, we'll have a cosine squared plus a sine squared, which of course equals 1. And we do the same with this r squared theta dot squared term here and here. And we'll slowly cancel down to t equals a half m times r dot squared plus r squared theta dot squared plus z dot squared. So that's our kinetic energy. Now we want to find the Lagrangian equations. So remember this is our formula, dt times dt over dqi dot minus dt over dqi equals big Q qi. So we need to find these terms first. So we've got dt over dr dot. Remember I said these qi is all the terms in it. So we've got r's, thetas, and z's. The m is just a mass, so that's not a variable, it's a constant. So if we 
here we got r dot theta dot z dot we work these out so if we do it with respect to r dot we'll move the two down it'll get rid of the half we'll have m times r dot for the theta dot oh, sorry i went the wrong way uh, theta dot we move the two down it will get rid of the half so we'll have m r squared theta dot yeah and for the z we move the two down get rid of the half m z dot and of course we've done it with the dots now that we do it without the dots remember i'm telling you to treat them as if the dots and the normals are not related at all so if we do it with respect to r we move the two down get rid of the half m r theta dot squared yeah and the rest, theta and z, they are not included in there, so they are just equal to zero. Right now, now we've got to work out these qi's. So, well, first off, we've worked out these. If we substitute all these values into these equations, we'll get uh, this one with the r's goes to dt, d over dt of mr dot minus mr theta dot squared. This one with the theta goes to d over dt of m r squared theta dot minus zero and this one goes d over dt of d uh, t dz dot minus dt over dz equals dt d over dt of m z dot minus zero now we want the qi's which here also are you do uh, differentiate our particle equation with respect to the different variables and then dot them with f so this is our equation here, so we've got, we can do it with respect to r, in which case it will be cosine theta i plus sine theta j, yeah, and dot it with f, remember, you'll get this in a question, but I haven't got it this time. And then, with respect to theta, so it'll be minus r sine theta plus r cosine theta, hopefully, yep, and with respect to z, which will just go down to 1, so it'll just be k. Yeah, so k dot f. And if we just simplify this a bit, so we'll get rid of these d over dt's, we'll get mr double dot minus mr theta dot squared equals cosine theta i plus sine theta j dotted with f. Uh, 2mr r dot theta dot plus mr squared theta dot double dot equals minus r theta sine theta i plus r cosine theta j dotted with f and m z double dot equals k dot f and as you can see what we've done is all the values which we had in here so r theta and k all the variables we now have them in their second derivative r double dot theta double dot and z double dot and you just rearrange them and you'll get nice equations i hope that made sense